The following LP is rated TVMA for LSV for language, sex, sexual situations, and violence. And to be honest, you guys know what this warning means. I'm not going to tell you what it means. You know that this shit's going to be <laughs> going sideways. If you're a gamer like I am, you're going to fucking rage the fuck out when motherfuckers start fucking tripping on you and try to get try to shoot at you, especially when you're playing shooters live stream on, you know, playing shooters live and everything like that. That shit's intense. Regardless, subscribe, leave a comment, Hit the bell notification so you guys be notified of this series and all the other series LPs coming up very soon here on the channel. Regardless, let's have fun, sit back, relax, grab a snack, and just have fun. That's what it's all about. You guys get to laugh at me, how I act, how I react, and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, just, just a little bit of funny entertainment. Cheap entertainment at that. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's play. What's going on, ESGN Nation? And welcome back to another episode here today of uh, WWE 2K22 My GMO. This is episode 8, and today we are going to be showcasing just two. That means two, only two matches here today one from Raw and one from SmackDown. As you see here, Braun Strowman talking to the GM. And uh, letting us know here uh, that he is not liking uh, <laughs> the matches that he has been incredibly a part of right now. Especially with uh, Humberto uh, Carrillo. As uh, you see there, he is uh, saying that he's been getting beat every single week now. At least by uh, Carrillo. And he wants to have a win coming up his next match. So, we'll see. Um, Baron here. I don't know if we can promise that for him too much here. Uh, but yeah, well, that's at least what he's won. And of course, uh, you know, Jay Lethal talking to us here. And uh, he's wanting to... Oh, he wants to team up with Drew at some point here. And uh, he believes that they'll make a good tag team. So, okay. Well, I, I, I can see that. It, potential right there. A uh, nice little storyline we can have at some point here. So, uh, you know what? I think we can go ahead and say, yeah, Jay, you know what? Let's do that. Let's see if we can do that. We'll try to see if we can work that out here in the next couple of weeks here. And uh, we'll see how things go. So we'll put that part of our booking here. That's going to be a promise that we'll make. Uh, so far, I think we've fulfilled all our promises. I think we have one more right. I think the most recent one we have right now is with Bianca Belair, where she will be the next person in line to have a match. Uh, against uh, get a rematch there against Miguel Gonzalez. So there you see some of the promises there. Of course, all we obviously said that we're, we're going to try to avoid that one there with uh, with with uh, Finn Balor. He doesn't want to face uh, Sheamus no more. He's already been beat by Sheamus already. And of course, we cannot put those two together because we did say uh, at the pay per view that the winner of that match was not going to get a future title shot until uh, somewhere down the line. So there you see the booking so far here for this tonight's show. Like I said, we're going to only focus on one match tonight, and that's going to be the Braun Strowman and Humberto Carrillo match up there. It's going to be an Extreme Rules match, and that'll be the Smith card match of tonight. And then, of course, we'll, bump, we'll jump over to SmackDown where we'll see a match there. We'll show you guys about the, the, how that card's set up there uh, once we get to SmackDown. But the opener, of course, there will be a... Uh, whoa! Whoa! Okay, I just realized I screwed up big time there. Ember Moon... Is getting a match here against Rene or uh, Raquel Gonzalez to kick off the show here tonight. Uh, I think I was trying to do that just because we right now we got the momentum right now on our side uh, when it comes to booking. So I really screwed up that booking right there. <laughs> uh, we should have gave that to um, uh, Bianca, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be our first promise that we've broken. Uh, let's see Tony Delangelo. He is going to call out, of course, Jay Lethal. Uh, we're going to try to keep that live, live rivalry alive because you want the rivalries in at pay, at pay per views. Uh, so we're going to try to let this one ride out, uh, at least in this kind of fashion here, until we get to the uh, pay per view, which is coming up. And I believe it's Extreme Rules. I could be wrong, but I believe that's what the next one is. It's extreme Rules. So we'll see these two probably in some kind of Extreme Rules match of some sort here. Uh, and of course, Tony Jones would probably like to get a win at some point here because he's been just getting manhandled right now by the veteran uh, Jay Lethal. Um, so 
we'll see. Uh, we'll see what kind of match we're going to try to put them book them in. Uh, of course, Drew McIntyre uh, being called out there by Buddy Murphy. Uh, those two will not be in a match tonight, but they will be in the promo. Uh, I just want to show you guys some of this stuff here uh, behind the scenes of how we're booking matches because I think, I think you guys want to at least have an idea of what we're trying to at least ideally trying to book uh, for shows here. Uh, and then, of course, tonight we're going to give, I believe, um, uh, Damian Priest has requested a match against Sheamus. Now, I don't think it was a title match, but I believe it was a match of some sort here at some point here. So we decided, you know what, it would be a good idea. Maybe we could put Damian in there, have him against Sheamus, uh, and then we'll have Bobby Roode, of course, keep that rivalry going between these two, between Sh um, Damian Priest and Bobby Roode. Uh, I should say Robert Roode. I should be calling by his proper name. Uh, we're going to have that rivalry to keep alive here. So we could see a potential new champion tonight uh, between Sheamus and Damian Priest. We'll, so we'll get to that here later on. But Mia Yim is going to make a run in here. On, I actually changed it up there uh, before afterwards. Uh, I should have changed it then. But uh, when I, once I looked at the video here, I'm like, oh, I, I screwed up big time. Ember Moon is your new Raw Women's Champion. So she is going to now have to, at some point here, she's going to meet up with Bianca. Of course, Bianca's probably pissed right now at me as I broke that promise to her that she was going to be the next person exclusively taking on Raquel Gonzalez, and that's not going to be the case here now as Ember Moon is your new WWE Raw Women's Champion. So that's my fault there on that, uh, that bad booking there. I should have did a better job there. But I was just trying to see if we can keep the momentum going here that we've had so far here after the especially last week's show where we actually uh, won the booking war there. And it uh, doesn't look like, uh, well, tonight I mean, we've got a new champion. I mean, I guess that should help us in, in, in with the viewership there. Um, but Raquel, of course, lose the title. Of course, now we'll have to get Raquel a rematch at some point here down the line. I'm sure she's going to request that here at some point here. But right now, Braun Strowman. In the ring here tonight, it's a one on one extreme rules match against Humberto Carrillo. As Braun Strowman says, he is not liking the way he's been taking these L's here against Carrillo. And uh, of course, uh, Carrillo has been doing great. He's got a smile on his face, a very handsome young man. And uh, he says, regardless how tonight uh, ends, he knows he has the upper hand here on Braun Strowman. So we'll see what Braun is going to do here. We'll see if he'll give those hands to uh, Humberto Carrillo. Now, Correa, he's going to have to really do a great job here avoiding Braun Strowman in those uh, uh, those cinder brick, cinder brick style hands there. As uh, he's going to have to really use his speed and agility on Braun Strowman as much as possible. And really avoid of uh, any chance of him getting getting strangled by those hands in that ring here tonight. Now remember, extreme rules match, anything goes. Um, but the pinfall, of course, has to happen in the ring, or the submission has to happen in the ring. Uh, no countouts. Weapons can be used uh, however they want. I guess, and well, I guess in some up to to a certain point. <laughs> Don't really want to see a murder happen here on this on this match, but we are in uh, Sin City here tonight, and we're going to see how this match is going to be. So this is the only match we're going to get from Rolf here tonight, as we'll, of course, sim the main event. We'll see if Sheamus will be will retaining that title against, uh, Damian, or against Damian Priest, or will uh, Damian Priest become the new WWE Champion here on Monday Night Raw as we start this one off here. This is going out outside there, and already... Not in favor here of Humberto. <laughs> As Humberto now is oh, going to get thrown around here. And remember, there's no 10 count. So Braun Strowman can pretty much do anything and any anything and everything he would want to do here to this young man. Who has been in the wrestling scene for a couple of years now. He's been, he started off pretty young there in Mexico. Uh, of course, his cousin, if you guys don't know, his cousin. And this is his cousin in real life also. Uh, is... Um, Another WWE superstar, uh, and that is, um, oh, I can't think of his name now. <laughs> um, oh, the heart, heart, the heart throb. I can't think of his name now. Oh, he—they're tag team on here now. Shit. 
I should know this. I should know this if I'm going to bring it up. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Um, the two of them are tag team here in WWE now. I think you can catch them on the blue brand there on SmackDown and RL. And uh, they've been uh, doing well uh, as a tag team. Yeah, they haven't got too much TV time. Um, but I know for the most part here, uh, they've been uh, doing pretty well for themselves in the ring. Um, so we'll see how things go here in this one. As uh, now he is now uh, taking a chair now to Braun Strowman. This is the best offense that he could possibly have right now. As uh, these two, oh my goodness, Braun Strowman. Just trying to, just trying to destroy this young man here. As they are going at it here, back and forth here. Like I said, this is an Extreme Rules match. You can use anything under the ring, anything outside the ring here. Um, and of course, the of course, obviously to win, to be able to win the match, you have to, um, you know, uh, get a victory. This stream rules match here. Angel Garza, that's his name. Angel Garza. I should have known that. <laughs> yeah, Angel Garza is his... Uh, I had to look it up on my phone here. Uh, Angel Garza is his cousin. So, well, you know, we haven't seen Garza yet here, but I'm sure he will poke his head somewhere at some point here um, and make his uh, day... You know, make an appearance here on Raw or maybe even on SmackDown uh, as the weeks go on here. But now Humberto here, of course he is here by himself here tonight. He's got to take on Braun Strowman in this matchup. And so far, has not looked too good here for him as Braun Strowman there. Need to or kick to the gut there. And now Braun Strowman now putting those, those big giant uh, hooves on him. <laughs> Jeez. As now he's going to try to take Humberto now over his head here. Gorilla press slam. Or, oh, throws him down there. And there you see Braun just talking to the crowd like, this is your hero. This is the guy you guys look up to. It's Braun Strowman now going to go on the outside here. He's probably going to look for another type of weapon here to use on Humberto. So Humberto now here looking to get something going. Humberto calling Braun Strowman out. He, he's going to go up top there over the top rope. And gets on top of Braun Strowman there. Nice little, pre nice little move there on the ropes. And uh, knock down Braun Strowman there. Nice knee to the head there to Braun Strowman. As Humberto, is, again, he's going to have to stay on top here. He's going to have to get rid of that vertical base. As there you see Braun Strowman. Powerful arms and, of course, powerful, even more powerful legs there. That's where he gets most of his power from. If he can take down, take away that vertical base, take out the you know his legs, his knees, and stuff like that, and he, has, he has a good chance here. He can make even out this matchup now between these two. And get a victory here. Of course, Braun Strowman, like he said, tonight requested this match here to our GM. Told him that he is getting tired of getting uh, getting beaten by a man like Humberto Carrillo, a cruiserweight. And he wants to be able to be have this cruiserweight be in his world. I guess this world is just going to be extreme rules. As they are in this extreme rules match here tonight, Braun Strowman. The monster that he is, the monster is, you know, he's known as the monster among men. He wants to put a put a stop here to Humberto Carrillo's Carrillo there goes up and oh, nice move there from Carrillo. Yes, now he has Braun Strowman now on his on the ground and oh, kick to the face there, but can't bring down the big man. And there he goes for a DDT. Nice job. He might have busted open Braun Strowman on that move there. He's up top here on the top rope here, going for a top rope move, and he's going to go up, and a nice splash there from Humberto Carrillo. This matchup here looking very good here for Carrillo. Uh oh, Carrillo now going for a move here. Oh, he looks like he's going to go off the top rope here. No, he decides not to. And he's going to, no, he's going to go on top rope there. Nice move. 
As again, he brings down Braun Strowman, keeping Strowman there on the ground on the outside of the ring. And oh, nice. There's a Gary there from Humberto. And now he now whips him on the ground. And I'll try to work on the neck here. Braun Strowman has not had, we have not seen the offense from him now for quite some time. I see it's just being manhandled here by the Cruiserway here. Could this be the third straight week? Oh, again, another shot to the head there from the knee of Humberto. And oh, ho, ho, ho. nice super kick there from Humberto. He's going to go up top here. Got something set up here. Could this be it? Could this be the nail? They're putting the coffin of this big man here. It's, oh, ow. Uh, axe handle move off the top rope and the fans here enjoying what they are seeing here as Braun Strowman a little wobbly there you see Humberto celebrating as he is now oh good hit a uh, good shot there to the face there that's Humberto there trying to get underneath the skin oh and Braun Strowman that's looked like he's had enough here now Braun Strowman now picks up the cruiserweight here, takes him up, brings him back down. Nice forearm, nice. Uh, uh, oh, clothesline there. Now he slams his head against that post there, that of the LED board. Now Strowman going trying to finish off uh, what he's what he's been trying to be doing, but he hasn't had too much offense now here in this matchup between these two. Strowman here now taking Humberto, put him back in the ring here. He knows he has to do something. He has to win the match in the ring. Pinfall submission on Humberto Clarillo. And now he's going to bring out a chair here. Oh, no. This doesn't look too good here. It's Braun here looking to get something going here, make taking a couple practice swings there. And, oh, crack that one on top of the head of Humberto Clarillo. Oh my goodness, Humberto hurting here now. He's screaming in pain. Now with Braun Strowman bringing the big table in the ring here. Sliding that in there. Oh, I, th I don't like the uh, I don't like the future of that table right now. Or at least to see the future of Humberto Clarillo going through that table at some point here. It's Humberto here trying to stop him. And try to like, nice little spin move here. And oh, brings down. Braun Strowman as he is trying to avoid having Braun Strowman throw him in, put him through that table as Braun Strowman off the rope and oh good move here from Cutterill. Now Cutterill now going up top here again here and splash move but oh rejected there by Braun Strowman as Strowman looks like he's got his uh, power back here he's getting getting back in control of this matchup these two, oh, kick to the, f oh my God. Humberto Carrillo, you might want to guess, hope you got some good insurance there because that did not look too well. As he just goes through, I'm sorry, he's going to split him in half of that, his boots to the face there on that move. So now, Strowman trying to set up that table here. Strowman trying to do his best here. I don't know what, Strowman looks confused or, Trying to figure out what he's going to do. He's maybe got too many options here for himself to try to get rid of Humberto. But there you see now trying to get to Humberto here. Humberto's still in the daze. As he's on the corner there. And that splash there. A nice uh, move there. Nice splash there for the big man, Braun Strowman. Strowman now trying to bring this. Oh, he throws it right at Humberto. Uh, there. No nice move there to the face there. Try and bring Humberto down. Oh, axe. Hell, oh, my goodness. Just brings down. Brings down his fist like a gavel. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and I think Humberto might be. He might be bleeding there in that in, in this situation there. As now he's going. Oh, and getting taken down there. As now Humberto getting back up here. This kid, I got to give this kid some credit here. He is fighting like a champion, like a warrior. As now Humberto on the on the mat here, Ron Strowman has got something. He's he's got something. He's trying to think of what he can do with that table. Uh oh, now he's setting up the table here. This could be it for Humberto Clarillo. Humberto, there you go. Getting uh, putting him, uh, Braun Strowman put him against the table here. Braun put him on the table here. Braun taking him up. 
Gonna put him through the table. He does so there. Oh my god, that might be it right there. It's Braun Strowman getting telling him to get up. He ain't done with him yet. Oh, close line there. Braun Strowman now trying to finish off from Berto Carrillo. And another, another hit. Another another head splitting shot there from Strowman. Is Strowman here now? Oh, getting kicked there. Something there from Humberto. Is Humberto trying to fight back here in this one? Braun Strowman, of course, wearing the crimson mask there. And oh, good shot there is now Humberto trying to fight back here in this matchup here. Telling telling him tell the referee to get out of the way. Nice little hurt. Nice Frankensteiner there. It's now Humberto going up top here. Humberto going up. Oh, missed the shot there. It's Braun Strowman steps, side steps there. And now Strowman going up here, trying to maybe trying to figure out a way how to finish this match off here with Humberto Carrillo. It's Braun Strowman now. Oh, shot there to the face. It's just Strowman just showing off the power that this, you know, this guy has. It's now Strowman again locks up with Humberto Carrillo. Carrillo gets out of it now. Show, now uh, Strowman there just gives him lefts and rights. And again, another right hand shot there. And I'm surprised Carrillo, uh, Humberto Carrillo is still just up. I don't know if he's just on adrenaline or if he's just or if he's just in a daze right now. But those shots and that, especially those gut shots there. Knee shots to the gut there from Ron Strowman had not be good ones there as he gets smashed his face right in that turnbuckle. And Humberto Carrillo is just agonizing in pain as Ron Strowman is just calling him out here now. We'll see what Strowman's going to do here. It's Humberto there. Nice job there on that move there. Now trying to go on the top rope here. He needs to try to do something, but no. Again, Strowman sidesteps. And now he has Humberto Carrillo probably now where he wants him at as he gives another shot to the head there. Just trying to just axe handle him there. And there you see Roman misses there. And that shot there is now Strong, Strong Brom, uh, Braun Strowman here. Now, oh no, he's going to go for the the the, the uh, submission move here. And Braun Strowman, he's a big boy. He's a heavy guy. He's at least over 400 some odd pounds. And he's like six, what, six, eight, six, seven, something like that. I mean, geez, I mean, that has to be a lot of pressure on the back of Humberto Carrillo. Carrillo's now being asked, is he going to quit? Humberto, he's not quitting at all. He's telling the referee, no, he is not going to quit at all. But Humberto still sitting there. And Braun Strowman just trying to put all his weight on him. Strowman, come on, dude. You got to let him just, just get, let him just get up. Oh, my God, you got to break this kid in half. This poor kid is in agonizing and pain. Humberto, maybe this is a good idea just for you to tap out. This is this is cringeworthy. I cannot I cannot watch this anymore. This this is just tough. You see Braun Strowman now just putting on more pressure on Humberto Carrillo as Carrillo's trying to do his best here and trying to just I mean just putting that that pain behind him and and whatnot and just trying to stay in this match as long as he can. But I don't think he can stay in this match for too long. Because if he's on his legs, this is going to be very painful. I mean, Humberto Carrillo couldn't do anything on the top rope. I mean, that's what he's known for, for his high-flying moves. I mean, if he has a bad leg, I mean, just one of his legs go out on not having that, you know, the power that he needs to go up there and finish off, a, you know, some kind of kick or just something off the top rope. He falls off that top rope. I mean, it could be just, it could be har I mean, harmful to his, not just... To his legs, but his future career here in WWE is now. Oh, Strowman now pulling back here. Strowman, come on, has him screaming now. Humberto's like, no, he's not going to give in. Humberto rather pass out than give in. Now, Humberto, come on, Humberto, just give in. Just tap out. Just please tap out. Humberto, just tap out, man. Someone get in there. Referee, just break the count. Just break. Tell him I'm breaking. Just give him the man win. Now, Humberto has no choice but to give the tap out. And Braun Strowman picks up the win. Oh my God! Braun Strowman picks up the win here tonight in this one-on-one -on -one Extreme Rules match. You see there, he got a cut there. It looks like above his eyebrow there. And Strowman not gonna let this go. Three and a half stars there in this one, as this is only gonna intensify between these two. 
Oh my goodness, tonight here on Monday Night Raw, as we take a look here and you see those two are still talking and still going out of here as Tony D'Angelo calls out uh, Jay Lethal. And I'm sure Lethal's probably tired of this young man calling him out. And so far, this, you know, Tony D'Angelo has, he's only picked up a win so far against, uh, uh, against uh, Jay Lethal. But, uh, you know, D'Angelo, the dawn of WWE, says he is not going to accept those losses there. He's at some point here, he's, they're going to, he's, he's letting them know that he's going to finish it when he wants to finish it. So we'll see how long that will go. We'll see the main event here, running there, and it's just, uh, oh, well, the running works out because Sheamus is still your WWE champion here on Monday Night Raw as he picks up the win over the challenger, and that being Damian Priest. So I'm sure these two, uh, Priest and uh, Rude are going to go at it again, especially now since Rude caused that uh, run in and caused for Sheamus to pick up the win. So now we're on SmackDown here, and like I said, we'll have one match here on SmackDown tonight. We'll fo actually feature Lacey Evans and Becky Lynch. As you see, uh, Humber uh, Escobar here. Of course, Escobar uh, won his match. And, uh, of course, he's asking for a future tag team match between with him and Cesaro teaming up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, well, that could be a future thing we could do there. Or at least, uh, at least for Jacob there. Uh, we'll see if that will be something that Jacob's going to be looking into for the future. Uh, but we'll see Becky Lynch here. Says she hasn't had any matches for a while. And, of course, uh, you know, she's been having issues with... Um, uh, Lacey Evans. So those two will be in tonight's matchup here. Well, that'll be the first match of the night here on SmackDown. And we'll get into that. Lacey Evans, uh, of course, been uh, talking trash and talking smack there on the former WWE Women's Champion, uh, former SmackDown and Raw Women's Champion. And of course, there you see the mid card. Uh, you got Timothy Thatcher taking on the uh, in a non title matchup against Cesaro. Uh, looks like Solo, uh, I believe uh, this week, I think, uh, I believe Jeff, I'm not mistaken, Jacob said that he had, had a run-in. So, that is perfect there. Um, maybe uh, if we can cause a little trouble there and get uh, Timmy Thatcher a win over the champion. Maybe uh, Cesaro will take a, you know, Solo seriously and give him a shot. And, of course, so we have a debut uh, tonight, a debut in the ways of Scorpio Sky, one half of the... Men of Tomorrow. He is debuting, uh, or at least not, or at least just coming out and calling out Odyssey Jones. Now, on that story, the only thing I can tell you guys is on that is uh, he is he says that he believes this, everything that Drew uh, Gulak has been saying about Odyssey Jones that Odyssey Jones is not ready to be in the main, uh, be on the blue brand or be on any brand here in the WWE, and uh, he's going to prove that just as well as he called out. Um, Odyssey Jones there in that uh, promo and so we'll see what Scorpio Sky at least we know his motivation why he's here on Smackdown but he's in, we I believe I've been told that Odyssey Jones hang on yep I've been told right now in my headset right now that Odyssey Jones is gonna be uh, challenging Scorpio Sky to a match next week here on Smackdown so we'll see a debuting Scorpio Sky here on uh, GM mode, so uh, nice little, nice uh, way there. I, I did not think about picking up Scorpio Sky in the uh, free agency pool there. I didn't realize he was in there. Uh, you know, I, well, I mean, I mean, I knew he was. There was a possibility of him being in there, but I didn't think he was going to be there that week, uh, this past week. So, go ahead and get to our first and only match here on SmackDown here tonight. It's the main event for the episode, as we see Lacey Evans coming down the ring here. And of course, she says that. Becky Lynch, if she's a man, and she has no right going after the women's championship, and of course, you know, uh, Lacey Evans, a former military uh, Air Force, uh, or is it Marine? I can't, I cannot remember. I want to say it's Air Force. Oh no, Marine, Marine. Excuse me, a former Marine, and uh, of course, uh, obviously thank her for her uh, service, uh, being part of the uh, Marine Corps there, but. Nonetheless, here in, some, on, here in WWE, she's been causing havoc with a lot of women. 
and causing a lot of trouble. And of course, the first first person she wants to go after here, as she made her debut a couple weeks ago, she is going to call out the man of the WWE, that being Becky Lynch. And of course, Becky Lynch says she's just had enough. She hasn't had any matches here since then, since since we've started this series here. Uh, you know, she had a match. Uh, trying to get him in a match at WrestleMania. Couldn't get in a WrestleMania match. Uh, but then finally was able to get in that one. But it was the Battle Royal for the Women's Championship. Obviously won by, uh, I believe, Asuka, who's our current champion right now here on the Blue Brand. But, uh, yeah, you see here uh, Becky Lynch says that she's last couple weeks she's had enough talk with... Lacey Evans, and she's going to show him how much of a man she is. And, of course, Lacey Evans says, no, huh, you're not going to do that because I have a the woman's right to show you what I'm going to do. And, that, of course, that woman's right is the finishing move of Lacey Evans. So we'll see what Lacey can do here if she can put uh, the man in her place. Or will the man uh, be able to uh, make sure Lacey Evans stays in her place? here on SmackDown as being a person that uh, could possibly someday be a future champion uh, with the only exception I guess Becky Lynch letting her be champion as we see nice little move there from Becky Lynch getting out of that one and nice little toss move there from Becky and she is starting off here and of course Becky not uh, like I said not too happy having to deal with Lacey Evans you know she wants to be in that main event picture she wants to face off against Asuka Whoever the, you know, whoever the champion is, Lacey Evans on the other hand says, you know, she's, you know, she's tired of being second to uh, be looked at, overlooked, and not taken seriously, and she wants to be the next women's champion here on SmackDown, and she's willing to do anything and everything. Of course, she, you know, she decided to call off the biggest dog in the yard, uh, and that being the man, Becky Lynch. And uh, why not? I mean, that's the best way to get Becky Lynch's attention. And not to mention, get the attention of the GMs. You know, if you could pull off a victory here against Becky Lynch here tonight, I mean, you're now opening up a lot of doors here for yourself to be in future title matches against uh, the SmackDown Women's Champion or any other champion. Uh, you know, maybe even possibly over in Raw uh, over there. So... And of course, uh, Asuka, uh, you know, um, you know, she's the champion right now. Uh, Asuka, of course, you know, I talked to her before the show, um, and she says she's willing to take on anyone. She, you know, if she could take on, uh, she says she'd rather take on both women at the same time to prove her point. And I asked her, I told her, like, you know, you realize you'll lose the, you know, the champion's advantage. If it was a triple threat match, and she says she doesn't care. She's a fighting champion. She wants to show out why she's why she's the Empress of tomorrow, and why she's the current Empress right now, reigning over here on the SmackDown brand. So as you see here, oh, couldn't get that one. Hold that one there. It's Becky Lynch. It looks like she lost her grip on there on that hold. And see a pinfall there. Only a one count there from Becky Lynch. As uh, Lacey Evans not having the start that she thought she was going to have here against Becky. As now, Becky now here going for, for uh, look like a figure four, modified figure four move here. And there she see she lets go the hold here as Becky Lynch now celebrating in front of the fans there. As now she only gave her that small window there to Lacey Evans to take now Lacey, Lacey Evans now taking the um, chance now to take over this match here. But, uh, yeah, a lot of, you know, all these women, I mean, when you're in this business, I've said this many times before, but if you're in this business and you're in, you're in this business for the right reason, which is, you know, obviously winning championships and championships lead to money and opportunities for other things, then you're doing a great job. If you're in this business just to just be in this business, just to make the money, well, then you're not just, you're not, you're not here for the, 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 the true business. You want to want to be over, you want to be the person, you want to be that person that be on the marquee, you want to be on the posters you want to be able on the programs you want to you know you want to be the face of the brand or maybe even in some cases the face of the company and that's what Lacey Evans wants she wants that of course she has a young daughter she's trying to raise the right way and she believes the way she's doing things is the right way and confusing young ladies especially with 
the way Becky Lynch is as Lake's calling herself the man, you know, uh, Lacey Evans just think that's the right way, especially the way uh, Becky Lynch acts. Um, you know, Becky's not acting like a lady, and she says that her best, uh, you know, she needs to show her daughter the right way of doing things in life, and I have to kind of disagree with Lacey Evans here in this sort of way here. I mean, in some ways, yes, you want to you want to call out the you know the person that's going to get in your way right now trying to get a ch championship opportunity, but not the way as Lacey's been doing as of late. As I see, now Becky now taking back control here and uh, trying to get back in this uh, matchup here. So, oh, nice move there from Lacey Evans. Nice little tilt-a-whirl there. It's now she slams the back of the head of Becky Lynch here in this one. And of course, like I said, if Lacey picks up a win here tonight, this could be a big victory here and a great great way to get her, her attention here and her name throwing the ring there for being a possible um, you know, person to go after Asuka here in the near future. See one, two, and that's only a two count there from Lacey Evans or fairly Lacey Evans there. The Evans now here back in control here and oh nice neck breaker there from oh a nice little move there. A little uh, pop up little dive little move there is now she oh no no it's the ladies are the ladies right there. This could be it for Becky Lynch too and no only a two count there as Becky somehow gets out of that punch there the woman's right. And now, Lazy Evans here trying to put a submission move now on her. As now crossface here, Becky trying to get out of this one here. Becky trying to do her best not to tap out as the referee's asking her, do she want to tap out? Lacey Evans holding that grip hard until she has to let go of it. And now she slams down the man's face onto the mat. Now going up top here, we'll see if Lacey's going to pull off this move here or not. Look like a dive, and oh, she misses that there. As that's going to now give now Becky Lynch a chance here to get back in this one. Here's Becky now on top here. One, two, and a two count there for Becky Lynch. There on Lacey Evans. It's Becky there fired up here now, trying to get the crowd behind her here. As Lacey Evans trying to get out of the ring here, but oh, a kick to the face there from Becky Lynch to. Excuse me, Lacey Evans. As these two are going back and forth, haymakers. As now Lacey Evans says she's looks like she's had enough of this matchup. She wants to get rid of Becky Lynch. And she's pulling up Lucky Lynch's hand. No, no, not again here. Could, oh, the second one now. Oh, the lady's right here. This could be it. One, two, three, and that's it right there. Lacey Evans picks up the win. And she gets a big win there off of Becky Lynch here tonight on SmackDown. And she shows the ladies right. And that lady wants to have the right to go against Asuka in the near future. We'll see if that's going to be the case here. Here on SmackDown there. Because the fans are not behind Lacey. But you got to give it to Lacey. She won this one fair and square here up in tonight's matchup. As you see there, one and a half stars there. And this one here, and this, like I said, this rivalry is only growing here as the weeks go on. As you see, Lacey Webbins picks up the win. So, we'll go ahead and move on to the next here. We'll see the first promo of the night as uh, we're finish up today's video here. Like I said, only two matches. One on Raw and one on SmackDown. As we'll see, uh, it looks like Jive Jones is calling out Austin Theory for last week's actions. Uh, Jive Jones, of course, I talked to him after the uh, the match and of course uh, earlier today and uh, he says that he had a great he felt like he had a great debut unfortunately he could not get the win off of Austin Theory but he says that he got in all he got in Th Austin Theory's head and of course gave him that that uh, you know breaking his uh, head Theory had to get a couple stitches there uh, above his uh, right eye after the match and uh, Jive only is like, hey, I'm in his head now. I, I you know, I'm gonna be around here for a while. So he signed an extension to be on SmackDown. So he says this rivalry between the two of them are not over with yet. Of course, Cesaro taking on uh, Timothy Thatcher in that mid card, and uh, we'll see one, two, three. Solo comes in and oh, it backfires there as Solo uh, does not help. 
Timmy Thatcher that way is uh, so that's a Cesaro smart enough. Picks up the win there and avoids the distraction there from Solo tonight. Here's a win there over Timmy Thatcher. And you see Scorpio Sky again calls out Odyssey Jones as uh, the two of them were supposed to have a match here tonight. But uh, Scorpio Sky says no. I have a match against him on the night that I want to do it. And of course, our main event between Sasuke and uh, Asuka, non title matchup. It is Asuka that picks up the win. <clears throat> As Baylor, Baszler and uh, Asuka, of course, uh, Baszler, uh, well, actually, by now, I think I forgot about it. Baszler won the, uh, won the women's title at WrestleMania, but recently they just lost it to Asuka, and now those two are still going at it there for that uh, championship, as Baszler believes she still has a shot, and uh, we'll see if uh, she gets her rematch here anytime soon, but uh, Baszler, that... Uh, uh, backfire there as Baylor was supposed to be helping out Shosky and it, it did not work and Shosky ends up getting the loss so take a look here we'll see the winner tonight oh look at this it's Monday Night Raw again even though we had a poor booking or for especially a poor finale uh, Monday Night Raw picks up the win we got uh, what three three stars in the first opener which was shocking enough we got a new women's uh, Raw Women's Champion that being Ember Moon and I'm sure we're going to get uh, the business taken to us by Bianca coming up here in the next episode. I do apologize there to Bianca for not getting her rematch uh, that she was supposed to get. But we will get her a rematch at some point here. Uh, five, uh, three and a half stars there in our mid card that we've seen tonight. The Extreme Rules match. And of course our main event there on Raw was three stars. Congratulations to them. Now as for SmackDown. Unfortunately, just a, uh, half, a star and a half. It's like I said, that rivalry is just kind of building up right now. Uh, but they got three and a half stars in their mid card, in their, or excuse me, two and a half stars in their mid card there. Uh, and then, of course, their main event, uh, Asuka picks, picks up the win there against Sasuke. And that was just a star and a half there. So, SmackDown, uh, not doing so great this week, but uh, I'm sure he will rebound quickly in the weeks to come but take a look here 46,361 fans there for us uh, of course we got a nice pro profit there of 147,982 dollars uh, which is good we're up and we're leading in, in cash right now uh, so that's always nice there because uh, we're not putting on too many high you know high-end flashy shows uh, with the exception of you know triple h telling us that hey you know we want to when you have this certain type of match uh, for the show tonight, so uh, we're trying to you know do all the big flashy stuff at pay per views. Uh, I think that's the same kind of strategy that Jacob's trying to do there for him. But there you see, we got a nice injury rehab three card, uh, which is going to come in handy here once we get into those uh, extreme rules match and theme type matches so like that for the pay per views coming up. And then as for SmackDown, twenty six thousand three hundred and forty nine view uh, change of fans there. Uh, so they've increased there, uh, of course, 139,000 or 137,291 dollars uh, for the budget there for the uh, profits. Uh, so they gained a nice little profit there from their show there on SmackDown, even though they did not have the best show uh, this week. So two weeks in a row now, Raw has uh, picked it up here, and that's nice. That's, I'm glad to see that for from my perspective as the uh, you know Raw. Uh, representative there uh, so we're putting together some good shows here now we just got to try to keep it up and uh, just keep running with it as uh, Smackdown will get of course a special promotion card uh, that I'm sure Jacob will probably use here uh, pretty soon here I know we were both joking about like uh, it's kind of weird it's kind of you know we're both going at it here with this these cards like that but at the same time it's like oh yeah, my strategy i'm for me and i shouldn't be telling us this and he could be easy to watch this video at any time but uh you know i'm gonna use my cards as probably somewhere around the third or the fourth week um you know getting close up here review so i can stop him from you know letting cesaro show up or you know the champion show up or whatever or, or kind of acts you know like okay these people can't be on the show this week or whatever so that's my strategy uh but there you see like i said we got the most money oh look we are number one, so we yeah, we're barely wow. We're about a couple of, uh, about five thousand or so uh, more fans, so we're number one this week. Nice, as the raw brand takes over. Of course, we have the most money right now, so 
Uh, we take over the fir first place in Raw as the flagship show here in the WWE My GM Mobile. We'll try to see if we can continue that coming up in the next episode. You guys stay tuned for episode 9 as we'll be in the third week. Uh, and we'll be, I believe, in Oklahoma City uh, for that one as we'll be in OKC. And we'll see if uh, what kind of shows we have uh, planned for that. And I'm sure both of us are cooking up something nice and sweet here as we're just about two weeks away from the next pay-per-view here. Uh, so we'll see how things go. But that's it for this episode of uh, WWE 2K22 My GM Mode. Uh, we'll stay tuned for episode 9 next Friday as we'll see who the best brand is. Right now, currently it's Raw. And we'll see if we can hold on to that coming up next week. But if you guys did enjoy today's episode here on ESG and LP, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you have to be new. Hit that bell notification so you guys be notified of this series or any other series here on the channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. As you guys can follow us on the latest news and events on what's going on here on the channel and what's going on in the world of sports gaming. Not to mention, uh, check us out over on Twitch as we do live stream at uh, 10 p.m. to midnight, uh, Thursday through Friday, th excuse me, Thursday through Saturday nights. Uh, that's all uh, 10, 10 p.m. Central to midnight. And we also live stream on Friday afternoons at 1 p.m. Central until 4 p.m. Central on uh, Twitch. So definitely check us out there. Always a fun time. Always have a good time. Uh, just relaxing, chilling out, and just having a good time uh, streaming games and just having a good uh, talks about what's going on in sports and stuff. So definitely go check it out. Uh, there's a link down below for that channel. Uh, for the Twitch channel. So again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on the channel. As always, keep yourselves and your other healthy, and I'll see you guys next time.